Hello friends, welcome to another practice question of polynomials. This is the NCERT question and this is the seventh practice question in the series. And there is a lot of theory and there are five to six practice questions that we have done that we have done before this. I will strongly urge you to go back and watch those videos as well. The link to the entire playlist is down there in the description for your reference. Now let's start solving this one. This question says find the zeros of a quadratic polynomial and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. So the standard format, so we have to find the zeros and verify the relation between the zeros and the coefficients. Okay, so the standard format of a quadratic equation is given as f of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. This is the standard format and if I compare these two, and I compare the coefficients of x square with x square, compare the coefficient of x with x, and the compare the uh, constant, what I get is a is equal to 1, just by looking over here, okay, b is equal to minus of 2, and c is equal to minus of 8. I also know that the sum of the roots, okay, is equal to, uh, alpha plus beta which is equal to minus of b upon a which is equal to minus of b by a going by this uh, going by this concept minus of b by a is minus of minus 2 by a which is 1 so this should be equal to 2 and uh, going by the product of roots which is equal to alpha beta this should be equal to c by a and c by a is equal to uh, minus of 8 by 1 which is equal to minus of 8 so we have to see that the value first we have to derive the value of alpha and beta and then validate that alpha and beta satisfy these conditions okay now let's start solving the question by finding the zeros okay so if f of x is given as x square minus 2x minus 8, I can factorize this. And when I factorize this, I can write it as f of x is equal to x square minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. <clears throat> we have studied this concept in the factorization chapter of class 9. If you do not know or do not understand this concept really well go back and refer to that playlist uh, in the description okay so f of x now becomes I can take x common from the first two terms okay from the first two terms if I take x common I get x minus of 4 and from the second two terms if I take plus 2 common I get x minus of 4 and now I can take x minus 4 common from everywhere. So it becomes x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 2. Okay. So f of x becomes this. And if I equate the zeros, I get if x minus 4 is equal to 0, that tells me that x is equal to 4. And if I equate x plus 2 equal to 0, then I get x equal to minus of 2. So my let my alpha be equal to 4 and my beta be equal to minus of 2. Now the sum of the roots is alpha plus beta is equal to 4 minus 2. That is equal to 2. This is 2. And here also we receive the sum of the roots as 2. So this relation is verified. Similarly, alpha beta is equal to 4 multiplied by minus of 2, which is equal to minus of 8. This is minus 8. And this product of roots is also minus of 8. So we have found the zeros and we have validated that the zeros and the coefficients have the right relation. And this is the solution to the question. I hope you found the solution useful. Do like, share, comment and subscribe in case you want me to solve any other questions for you. Do put down your queries at the WhatsApp number mentioned in the description. Till then, keep working hard, keep practicing hard. Cheers and God bless.